New details on the death of a pediatric cancer oncologist. Prosecutors say a man was speeding and drunk when he plowed into the Barbara Freitas on her bike last week in Center City. The 30 year old resident at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia was killed. Today, that driver is facing many and serious charges. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is the charges announced today and the death of a beloved doctor. Investigators reveal the suspect's blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit at the time of the tragic crash. Action News reporter Annie McCormick joining us live in Center City now with new details revealed in this investigation. Annie. Yeah, Brian and Sarah, investigators had to wait several days for those toxicology results. Like you said, it's now revealing that he was twice the legal limit at the time of the fatal crash. Investigators say that the impact was so severe that the victim, a young doctor, was thrown 150 feet in the air. 68-year-old Michael Vahey now facing a slew of charges, including homicide by vehicle while driving under the influence after he struck and killed 30-year-old Dr. Barbara Freitas. Freitas was a chief resident at CHOP, an oncologist treating children with cancer. She was killed while riding her bike home along 18th and Spruce on July 17th. The um, striking vehicle driven by Mr. Vahey was in the bike lane where it is not permitted to be. It was traveling, we believe, in excess of 50 miles an hour. The speed limit there, uh, I understand, to be 25 miles an hour. It shows you what happens when someone who's under the influence gets behind the wheel of a car, and, and, and now we have someone, a tragic death. This is the first fatality of a bicyclist this year. Her death again highlighting the bicyclist community's push for more permanent solutions and protections, including concrete barricades for bike lanes. Flex posts installed by the city advocates say are not enough. They're flexible, they're meant to be driven over, and they really don't do much to slow down drivers. Advocates said today lawmakers introduced bike safety legislation on the state level three separate times to no avail. They plan to try again. From where I'm standing, you know, there could be that this incident might galvanize that conversation. And the district attorney said today that initially the suspect was hospitalized, but then did surrender, and they are asking for a high bail today when he is arraigned. For now, reporting live in Center City, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian and Sarah. Okay, Annie, thank you.